Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you a more in-depth tutorial on the toy photography I've been doing on my Instagram. Um, it's over at Figure Codes. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Alright, and so the figure we're going to be uh, doing the photography with today is Jason. Get a closer look at him. So we'll see what kind of photo we can get with them and then I'll show you kind of some of the equipment I've been using and then hopefully that can help you with uh, some of your toy photography or even just photography in general. Alright, let's, uh, let's get into it. Alright, I'm going to kind of walk you guys through what my setup is. Um, yours might be different, uh, just kind of work with whatever you have. Uh, that's kind of the fun of, of doing this is you get to be creative in, you know, whatever you have, you can make it work. So you don't have to be, feel so limited. But, um, so for this shot, I'm going to be using a, a tablet um, as a backdrop for the character to kind of set the scene. And then I'm using just an LED strip for lights. I have a portable light that I use down there. And then I have these two two lights that plug into the wall uh, just to kind of use as a um, as like a, a backlight uh, you know just to help over, overall light the situation and then I also have a reflector um, if if you don't have a reflector you can use tin foil if you need to it's not really anything that you might not even have to worry about uh, until you get a little bit further into your, your photography journey. Uh, and then I just make sure that I'm in a room where I can shut the blinds so I have total control over the lighting because the lighting really helps set the mood um, for whatever kind of character you're shooting. For me, I, <clears throat> I usually shoot more um, uh, horror figures uh, so I want to set a more scary uh, at atmospheric mood. So this is kind of the shot I have set up and then um, kind of what I had in mind is so this is Jason Voorhees. He has come back to Camp Crystal Lake to visit his mother's grave and to of course seek his revenge on the camp counselors. So this is the shot I kind of had set up. Um, I wanted to do, uh, keep the torso out of the shot and just kind of get the, the angle of the mask and the machete and then the mother's grave there. Um, this way we can kind of show who the, the character is um, without having to have the need to show his entire it, his entire body and the reason I personally want to do this is I find it kind of cinematic um, you know this photo is kind of telling a story uh, you know why did this character come here at this point in time and you can kind of piece that together in your mind um, and if you are familiar with the, the franchise um, then you you know you already got that story kind of wandering in your head when you look at this photo and that's kind of what I'm trying to achieve here. Thanks for watching uh, Yeah, and if you want to check out my Instagram, that'll be uh, posted in the comments as well um, If you have any questions regarding any of this uh, Just let me know and I'll uh, try to get back to you on that. All right. Thanks guys